Knock, knock. Guess who's knocking on top 10 in college football recruiting rankings? Those Sooners with their last commitment today or here on Sunday from P.J. Adabare. I'm going to talk about that. And Miguel Chavez's first win here in just a minute. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, talking OU football, college football, and honestly, sports in general. Thank you for checking us out here on the YouTube channel. I want to talk about PJ Adabare being the latest commitment for the Sooners and Miguel Chavez's first one for the 2023 cycle. To tell y'all that the Sooners is coming. Everybody was asking, when was OU going to start getting recruits? They was ranked really low in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and all of a sudden, they're now number 11. So they're knocking on the door. Let's dive into it, shall we? PJ committed today, as you can see with this beautiful footage. Also, a friendly reminder, hit that like and subscribe button. Liking it lets uh, YouTube know that this is the content that I say that it is based upon the title. Subscribe means that you want to see more of it. Share because sharing is caring and it always helps to grow the channel. We're knocking on the door at 1,500 subscribers. The goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by January. So I'm be putting out a lot of content in hopes that you all will love it. At the same time, you see this picture. You see that Twitter handle. Go follow these recruits. I put these up there, screenshots of their Twitter handles for a reason. If you aren't following them now, go follow them. Show them some love. Follow their Instagram, all that jazz. Of course, they're young, so they enjoy all the social medias and stuff, but show them some love. You can also follow us at Unfair Sports, as well as you can follow me at my Twitter handle, at S-M-I-Z-N-I-T-H, but it's also in the bio of Unfair Sports. Without that being said, PJ is six foot four, two forty. Now it looks like he's more of an athlete than anything, but he is an he's a defensive lineman out of Kansas City, Missouri, North KC High School is where he played at. And I was looking through his measurables as to see why he's a four star recruit. His measurables is off the charts. At six foot four, two forty, he has a wings. He has a ten inch hand, so his hands are massive, and he has a seven foot wingspan at six foot four. Tells me that Sam Presti was probably recruiting him because we all know that he loves size and length because he does have a type. But having a lineman like this, that means his hands are going to be active. It's going to be he can grip more, toss dudes around. Uh, more of his bio talks about how he is a very relentless rusher. He has a very high motor, and that's what you want with your defensive ends, especially if you're going to be rotating them in and out. That way, you can get them in most of the plays. Boom, pull them out. Give him a quick breather, squirt of water, get right back into the game. And I think PJ has the opportunity to be something really special at that size. But he asked for what Miguel Chavez is looking for. These guys that are lengthy, these guys that can get their hands up and block passes, these guys that can reach out and touch a quarterback because pass rush is going to be critical, especially as OU transitions into the SEC. You got to get around them big old linemen and you got to get to that quarterback and disrupt as much as possible. And it looks like, PJ has those capabilities. I'm amped for what they're doing. Please leave me a comment. Let me know. What's your thoughts? Are you excited about PJ joining? Who is the next recruit you think is going to get pulled in by Miguel Chavez? Because he's doing some special stuff. You see players love him. They talk They talk about how much they enjoy the time there. The culture, I've talked about this in multiple videos. The culture of Oklahoma is shifting. And, and these recruits can tell. Some of the recruits that stayed along and the recruits that are newly walking in, they're like, yeah, I can feel the difference. I can feel the culture. It feels like family. It feels like love. There's something about the aura is there. The Brent Venables era is bringing us an aura that you want to have. So I'm amped to see this see this kid get out there on the field. We may actually try to convince him to play a little uh, basketball to go along with it just because he's got the size and length. But with that, it looks like that he can – be comfortable with the two or a three point stance. And I think that's really big. Makes him more versatile on that line. But at the same time, like I said, he's athletic and you can tell by some of his footage. So with that, please hit the like subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in. This is a quick one. Got the other video you'll see on the other side to remind you to check out all the stuff around Bill Benenbaum. And then we'll talk about all these offensive players that came through because of course your boy DeMarco Murray is doing it. He's doing more. With that, we will chop it up with y'all in a few days. Peace.